good morning good day good evening depending on the time that you will be watching this video my name is Saradani Prilen Saralesolo and I welcome you to my YouTube channel actual actual <laughs> actually living with pretty if you're a returning subscriber welcome back I see you much appreciated <laughs> okay on today's video we're gonna be talking about actual myths yes that's the word actual myths things that people believe about actual things that are not true or that are partially true we're gonna be looking into those um i'm gonna be featuring my phone here. okay so the first myth that is believed this is the the most believed myth, if I may put it that way, uh, is that actual science is the most paying, is the top most paying profession. That is not true, guys. In South Africa, the, f the, 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 the highest paying profession is IT management. And then there's something in second place. And then in third place, it's chartered accountants. And then actual science comes in at fourth place. So it's not the highest paying profession worldwide. The highest paying profession is neurosurgeon. Actual science doesn't even feature in the top 10 paying professions worldwide. So no, actual science is not the highest paying profession. Okay, um, another myth that is believed is that actual science is all about maths really now no actual science is not just about mathematics yes you need mathematics but it's not just about mathematics it's about problem solving it's about predicting the future okay it's not only just about mathematics um oh on the topic of mathematics some another myth is that if you if you are good in maths then you are gonna do well in actual science guys that is not true <laughs> it's not true i am a witness a living testimony of that i was very good in mathematics i'm not saying anything though okay i'm not saying anything but it's not true that if you're good in maths then you're gonna do well in natural science no it's not true guys you need discipline okay you need to work hard you need determination you need to want it you get what i'm saying okay <coughs> yes um oh this is funny <laughs> an actuary is someone who tells you when you are going to die child i mean what no no yes like <clears throat> we do an analysis on your history like your health history and some other things and we evaluate that and we predict your lifespan this doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna tell you or oh okay um mr rakao uh in 2025 december on the 16th you're gonna die <laughs> guys just imagine no 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 one needs a supernatural power to be able to do that okay no that's not true that is not true okay um another myth is that oh all actuaries work in insurances no i said it in <coughs> the previous video on actual science that um we work in businesses okay business risks that are involved there medical aids okay medical aids can be clarified classified as 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 as, as insurances but no guys we don't only work in insurances like these a lot of industries where actuaries work in okay um okay i've mentioned this um i've mentioned this oh it takes 10 years to complete all actual exams no 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 yes there are people who take 10 years to complete all their actual exams but it doesn't mean that each and every one who wants to become an actuary needs to spend 10 years on actual board exams. There are some people who take less. There are some people who take six. There are some people who take three. There are some people who take more. 
some people will take 12. It's not only fixed on 10, okay? Okay. <laughs> only a certain percentage is allowed to pass board exams. Guys, no, I know the exams are difficult, but imagine, imagine. No, that's not true, guys. It's not true. That's false. That's not true. Not true at all. Um, oh, there's another interesting one. Uh, yeah, you need to have an actual science degree to become an actuary. No, guys. No. An actual science degree is just an advantage. You can literally get into the actuarial profession with any degree you can put your mind on. An engineer can come years later and be like oh my gosh i think i love it i like actual science what i think i'm in love with actual science i'm gonna take on those actual science board exams and become an actuary you get what i'm saying you can literally have a degree in anything in stats in economics in accounting in maths whatever okay what you need is a degree what you need is to write those exams after the degree then you can be an actuary Okay, it doesn't have to be an actual science degree. That's the interesting part about actual science. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all, guys, because I've, I've, I've mentioned almost everything. Yeah, I've mentioned everything. I mean, that's all. That's all from me on today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, do share it with your friends. Tell them to share it with their families and friends and tell them to do the same with their families and friends. Give it give it give blah, blah, blah. give it a thumbs up like guys. Please like my videos. Please. With that being said, it is all from me on today's video. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed.